Hi everyone, hope you're well. Um, this is a bit of an update video um, and uh, to let you know where I am, what I'm doing. Um, I have received a load of messages from you guys and unfortunately at the moment I can't reply to any through Google Plus or whatever. I've got a guy around at the moment that is uh, looking into it so he said it just may need an update or something like that. Um, so I apologise if um, or I apologise for not getting back to anyone who has sent me messages who have commented on my videos, that sort of stuff I hopefully will get there, get round to doing it today so, um, the other thing is I'm going to the wilderness gathering so hopefully I will see a lot of you there um, Scott <coughs> Mr Scooty excuse me, 1968 glad you like your strop mate um, your face was a picture it was just that little personal thing that I had to do it for you mate uh, well deserved love your videos mate I really do even if you say they're crap I think they're fantastic so a little shout out to you Scott um, anyone who's not subscribed to Mr Scooty 1968 get over there check him out um, really nice guy fantastic bloke so yes um, what I'll be doing at, well, what have I been doing? I've been doing a few spoons. You can see that. Um, I just like to sort of shape these this way. Um, that one's in beach. Quite a uh, figured piece there. Not quite symmetrical, but it'll still do the job. Um, and various others sort of thing um, so I'm kind of getting into that so hopefully I'll have a few at the uh, bushcraft show uh, if anyone's interested or wants to see how I do it um, also strops um, Mac Tightwad this one is for you my friend I've been trying to reply to you but they've not been getting through for whatever reason but like I say the guy's sorting that out now um, this one is yours. This one is coming to you. Um, if I can, I will post it out to you, or if you're not that fussed, I will we'll definitely have this at the Wilderness Gathering if you're going. So, Mac Tightwad, that's yours, my friend. Um, there's nothing on it. If you want anything on it, let me know. Um, send me through a JPEG or whatever, and I'll uh, get that put on there for you, bud. Um, 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 anyone else? I'm in the process of making a load of strops I've got all the uh, timber cut so I hope to have maybe about 20 if I've got enough, le enough leather enough leather um, yes yeah, so if anybody wants one um, I will be have some at the wilderness gathering um, but I just asked for a small donation really to cover costs of leather ply that sort of thing um, you know a fiver whatever you can whatever you could spare really um, work's been a bit tight recently so I haven't been earning what I could be earning so I just want to sort of cover costs really I'd love to just give them away um, or we could do a trade whatever um, yeah sorry I keep saying um I do apologise so that covers the strops and incidentally if you want one a different size now these at the moment that I've got cut are 80, 80 millimeters wide that way and they'll be just shy of 300 mil so about a foot long just under a foot long and obviously with your sort of 100 mil for your handle they'll be um, 200 mil about eight inches of uh, leather on there if you do want one and you want one a different size then PM me uh, put a comment below and I will endeavour to get that for you um, but I've found personally that 80 mil is great for most knives um, my old Condor bush law and you can see obviously it gets most of the blade and then the belly of the blade um, you know it's not touching there it only touches to here and obviously that's where you then raise it to strop sorry if that's not in camera raise it to then strop that off 
Um, so that's, I've found a good sort of workable size that you can put in a pack um, and take it to the field with you or obviously at home. If you want anything of a different size, let me know. I do have some leather. Some of it's quite soft though. This one here, this actually, this leather is actually the same leather that Aston Martin use. Because a mate of mine covers for Aston Martin. So um, yeah, this is the same leather. This is just a few offcuts. So if you're interested in that, that's the Aston Martin. And this one is Porsche leather. Um, slightly different on the back, but on the uh, the side that we're interested in, it's all pretty much the same. It is it is a bit softer than normal leather, but I think once you use a, um, a decent honing paste, the leather's just a carrier for that. Um, and the honing paste I use is this, Tormac. I think it's about. Um, seven pounds, seven or eight pounds for a tube that size which is 70 grams I think there um, it says there for Sweden use only but really good stuff and it does bring a fantastic edge to the uh, your Strop your knife, sorry, bring it connected to your knife, excuse me, two seconds. The other thing I do use is the polishing soap, which again, for, I use it on the lathe for polishing tools, cleaning rust off, that sort of thing. Um, that will do the same job, so a lot of you metal workers out there, you can just rub this onto your strop, um, and it will do pretty much exactly the same, but you can get in different grades. <coughs> um, quite a coarse one. This is a nice fine one because it also polish out my uh, turned pieces, that sort of stuff. Um, yeah, so that covers strops. So anything you want, if you want one or if it's a present to someone and you want something on the back, let me know and I'll endeavour to get that done. Depending on what the call is for that up till the wilderness gathering and depending on how many there are, um, you might just get the strop. The other thing is, if I do run out of leather, I'm not going to run out of ply. Um, so they will all be ready. I'll hopefully have a load of them covered with the amount of leather that I've got here. If not, I will be bringing a load of these blanks, so you can just stick a piece of leather onto there if you've got some scraps or whatever. Um, and again, if you want one this long, you can have that, no problems at all. That, I think, covers it. I'll turn this off and I'll have some more to say. I know I will. Um, so yeah, that's that. Don't forget, Mac Tightwad, that is for you, my friend. Um, sorry for the delay, buddy. Um, but that is on its way to you, or PM me, and I will endeavour to see you at the Bushcraft Show, uh, Bushcraft Wilderness Gathering, and obviously hand it to you in person. Um, yeah, I think that's it, guys. So... Please bear with me, um, hopefully my computer will be sorted today and I can start getting some messages back to you guys. Thanks for all the support that you give, it's uh, very much appreciated. Um, yeah, hope that covers everything, any questions, PM me, message, comment, whatever. Um, and I will see you at the Wilderness Gathering or see you in the next video. Thanks again guys, cheers.